Thanks for tuning in to round 3 of the Face to Face Tour Toronto Stop. This is the Legacy 1k side event, uh, Less versus Waji, Less on Naya Depths, and Waji on Blue Red Delver. So we're going to have a look at Less's opening hand here. Uh, looks like it's two Knight of the Reliquaries, Plateau, Thespian Stage, Yava Maya, Cradle of Growth, a Crop Rotation, and a Green Sun Zenith. And it looks like he's going to be keeping, Waji looks like he's mulliganing to six. So he's got a blacked out Delver here, so two Force of Wills, Ponder, Delver, three lands. Volcanic Island, Sculling Tarn, we're gonna bottom the Polluted Delta. It looks like we're ready to go. So Waji on the play, plays Volcanic Island into Delver. That is exactly what we're gonna see here. Les is gonna draw a card for turn, looks like it's a Dark Depths off the top. So he does have combo in hand, because we saw the Thespian stage at the beginning. So we're going to Green Sun Zenith, try to get a Dryad Arbor. Because the Green Sun Zenith is X equals 0. So this is a form of 1 mana mana ramp. Oh, beautiful foil Dryad Arbor. So Waji revealed Murktide Regent off the top. He's going to cast a Ponder here to try to set up Delver. Not looking too great. 3 lands, 2 Volcanic Islands, and a Wasteland. So he has double Force of Will, Murktide, Scalding Tard in the hand. This might be... I mean, he could... This is a lot of lands. He could keep the Wasteland and kind of take the Yavamaya away from Less. Because Yavamaya, Thespian Stage, Dark Depths is a turn 4 kill. But Waji looks like he's going to just shuffle and draw because he did have the the scalding darn to shuffle away one of the lands but that means he's drawing lands for off the ponder and then for his next turn i was gonna draw a card looks like it's a flooded strand so it was a land anyway plays the scalding tarn and passing the turn less will draw looks like it's an elvish reclaimer I think if he's not afraid of Wastelands, he could just play Dark Depths here. Looks like he's going to go for Plateau. Top the Dryad Arbor for uh, Elvish Reclaimer. I guess it's a little bit more valuable for him because if Waji tries to bolt the Dryad Arbor for some reason, he can crop rotation the Dryad Arbor away. So Waji is going to Force of Will, exiling Force of Will to counter this Elvish Reclaimer. So I think Les is playing a little safe here. Don't hate this route that he's chosen to, chosen to take. Because he's playing against Delver, you have to respect Wasteland. In my position, I probably would have played a Dark Depths or a Thespian stage and had it immediately removed. Which has happened in the past and I must say, sometimes it's good to practice restraint. <laughs> So, so Les is going to crop rotation his Dried Arbor, turn it into a Wasteland, and take away a Volcanic Island from Waji. Waji is going to go to his upkeep. He looked at the top card for Delver. It is not an instant or sorcery. It doesn't look like he wants to keep it either, so he's fetching before he draws. So finding another Volcanic Island here. If Les is able to continue to control Waji's mana base, I think Les will be in a very good position. Delver in for 1, brings Les down to 19. Not much else to do here, just a Delver and Murktide in Waji's hand. There is another crack on a Flooded Strand here, so I think this is a Murktide that we're going to see. So it comes in as a 5-5. Five five. Les will draw for turn, I think that's an Endurance? Immediately casts Knight of the Reliquary after playing a Thespian stage. Now Les is in a prime position to kind of take over this game. I think the one answer that Waji has in blue red. I think he's he's Grixis. Because there's an underground seed. So in the Grixis list, even in just regular blue red Murktide, one of the only ways to prevent the Murktide Regent is Brazen Borrower. We're going to see a Delver of Secrets here. Try to make an extra blocker. So I think they need to update the life totals here. It looks like he attacked with Knight of the Reliquary. So Les should be at 11. 
what G looks like he should be at 13. So he's gonna reveal bolts, flip the delver, draw the bolt. That is 12 points of damage in Waji's hand. However, Lusk can make a Merit Lodge. Flying 2020 indestructible. So Waji is going to... It looks like he's considering taking the passive play and just not attacking and just blocking out the, the Merit Lodge. Lusk makes Merit Lodge at the end of the turn. He says, yes, get your token. Untap. Finds crop rotation. Gonna float a mana. Activate Knight of the Rail Quarry. Probably find Sajiri Step. Steep. Get protection from blue and attack for 20. So game one will go to less. So we're gonna see sideboard strategy from Waji's perspective here. Um, we're gonna see how he wants to deal with the Naya Depths matchup. So, considering Graph Digger's Cage, Submerge. So, Submerge mainly to is another way of getting or is preventing the Merit Lage from killing you. Looks like there's Hydro Blast coming in considered for Minsk and Boo. The Graph Digger's Cage is to stop Green Sun Zenith because it does put creatures directly from the library into play. So, would you cutting Orcish Bowmasters here? Looks like just all of them as many as he possibly can they are probably the weakest card in in this matchup you can really only pick off dryad arbor and very early elvish reclaimers it's pretty hard to you know pick off ramyanop excavator it's you could try to pressure sylvan safekeeper by making him continuously sack lands so it looks like he's going to keep in two Bowmasters. Cut two Bowmasters and cut a Daze. Daze mm, matches up quite poorly against the land combo of Dark Depths and Thespian Stage. But it does pretty well when you're on the play. So that is Woodgy's sideboard strategy. He's gone down two Bowmasters and a Daze. And he's brought in Hydro Blast. Graph Digger's Cage and Submerge. So starting game two, Waji on the play. Days, Lightning Bolt, Flooded Strand, Graph Digger's Cage, Dragon's Rage Channeler, Brainstorm, Flooded Strand. Not a bad hand. You have a little bit of disruption, a little bit of interaction. So this is Les's hand. So we see Plains, Elvish Reclaimer. I think that is a Wasteland, Crop Rotation, Minskin Boo. Sylvan Safekeeper and Savannah. So both keeping their hands. Waji will crack a Flooded Strand. Go down to 19. Probably play the Dragon's Rage Channeler here. I don't think you there's any need to play the Graph Digger's Cage immediately. Although, if you were to play it, I think now would be the time. Because turn 1 Green Sun Zenith is so common. He could have gone either way. This is the more aggressive strategy, which I prefer... But knowing that you're playing against a four crop ro not crop rotation, uh, four green sun zenith deck, Graph Digger's Cage seems very good. Bolt the Sylvan Reclaimer, or Elvish Reclaimer, sorry. I guess it didn't really matter. The aggressive route is probably very good because almost every card in his or every point of interaction from Waji helps deal with whatever green sun zenith finds. He had the Daze if he wanted to counter the green sun zenith. He had Lightning Bolt to kill the creature. He didn't really need to deploy the Graph Digger's Cage. Although, he could have used the Lightning Bolt for extra damage. So they're just trading Wastelands here. Waji in a dominant position with a, with a creature on board and being able to play land and getting mana before, any, before the opponent. So there are only three card types in the graveyard at the moment. It is land, instant sorcery. So if Waji can find a fourth type here, he is he has a great advantage. Less Les is kind of sitting on nothing in his hand. There's a bunch of lands, a Minskin Boo that he most likely won't be able to cast this game. Looks like there's a Ramyanop Excavator as well. Sylvan Safekeeper really there to protect Merit Lodge. Uh, but it can protect 
your your little minions if you're playing the the beatdown plan. But I don't think that's the strategy here. I think you want to just go for merit Lage as as quick as you can. So we're gonna see land into Sylvan Safekeeper here for less. So Waji is going to daze the Sylvan Safekeeper. I think he's trying to also just get surveil triggers. Looks like he wants to keep it on top. So it must be a valuable card. Draws. It is a ponder. So it gets to see extra cards now. In the top, there's a Delver in the grave. So we're seeing Polluted Delta, Brainstorm, Brazen Borrower. So these are all very good cards. Wiji is so far ahead in this game that <laughs> I think it's time to go to game three. So let's top decks a Sylvan Library. Is this going to resolve? It does. All right, so this this can kind of get less back in the game. Although Waji has so many cards in his hand, looks like less is supposed to be at twelve. So there's Polluted Delta. So Brazen Borer, Lightning Bolt, and what is the third card? Okay, so it looks like he's past the turn, but before during the upkeep before less draws. I think he might be trying to Petty Theft, which is the instant side of Brazen Borrower. I think he's going to bounce the Sylvan Library. He doesn't want less finding an out to this. And this is probably the best way to protect the Dragon's Rage Channeler. Because if less is able to find a Prismatic Ending or a Sword Sapasher if he brought them in, then Wiji kind of falls behind in terms of threats. Yeah, this is that was an incredible temple play. Now Les has to has a choice between playing this Ramianap Excavator or Sylvan Library. Looks like he's gonna go with the Sylvan or the Red Ramianap Excavator. And now Waji has another three damage flyer able to come in at a moment's notice. Attacks for three. Les goes down to nine. Gonna lightning bolt the Ramianap. At Ramianop Excavator. Surveil put or Surveil put Brainstorm into the graveyard. So Brainstorm, we're gonna surveil again. Gonna keep the force of will on top, it looks like. Yep, so now we're gonna resolve the brainstorm and it is more gas. Putting Lightning Bolt, Scalding Tarn on top. So this is this leaves a way for Wiji to just counter using Force of Will, which is good. And then he still gets to keep his momentum with Lightning Bolt as his draw for the next turn. And then he can also Petty Theft after that with the land. So there's a Prismatic Ending off the top. Going to try to get rid of this Dragon's Rage Channeler. Less still has a crop rotation still has the screen sun zenith and the minskin boot i think these were almost all in his opener and he just hasn't been able to get anything down so would he probably going to keep this lightning bolt on the top he could put it away if he, if he dumps the lightning bolt he can then play the brazen borrower on his next turn oh looks like he's going to do that so Force of Will mm, gonna counter the Prismatic Ending. So Les should still be at 9 here, not 12. Gonna Crop Rotation a Taiga and turn it into Bajuka Bog. So he's afraid of Murktide off the top. It is a pretty good Baju Bajuka Bog, but he doesn't get to cast another spell. There's a land. Now he can threaten Brazen Borrower. Les goes down to 8. Is that, is that correct? Oh yes, because DRC is a 1-1. So Les draws, casts this Sylvan Library that he's been trying to get onto the board. We're going to see Waji flash in a Brazen Borrower. So it looks like Les drew a second Green Sun Zenith. So his his hand is currently Green Sun Zenith, Green Sun Zenith, Minskin Boo. Waji drawing blind off the top, but now has four points of damage coming in. So this is a one turn clock now. Got a draw off the sylvan library it's crop rotation prismatic ending mox diamond so not bad it is confirmed to double green sun zenith and minskin boo he could prismatic ending and get rid of the brazen borrower but he's kind of delaying the inevitable here prismatic ending pretty good against dragon's rage channeler doesn't put the creature into the graveyard 
In comes DRC for one. Puts less down to three. Sylvan Library. Crop Rotation, Mox Diamond, Waste. Ma oh, that's a Maze of it. Play Maze of it. So now he can kind of turn off the DRC or any larger threat that is going to enter the battlefield. Again, attack for one. Going to Maze of it. it. There's a second DRC in Luigi's hand. Going to come down. So I think this is a card that he top decked this turn. There's going to be another Sylvan Library trigger. Same two cards, Crop Rotation, Mox Diamond, and then we find a Forest as the new card. Draws the Forest, plays the Forest. So he must have not have another Utility Land to kind of get him out of this situation. So he's going to take one, go down to two. Sylvan Library, not seeing, not finding anything. There is a Source of Plowshare, so... We kind of get to delay the inevitable even further. So on upkeep, we're going to exile this Dragon's Rage Channeler. There's a Force of Will. Which he goes to 14. We're going to resolve these Surveil triggers. So puts a Dragon's Rage Channeler into the graveyard from the first one. Second one, we are still in the tank. Looks like he's going to leave it on top. So he has creature land instant in the graveyard. Gonna come in for two. Gonna maze of it one of them. Less goes down to one. I think the writing is on the wall here. I think that's a snuff out. And we're gonna bow masters for game. All right. So Waji ties it one to one. We're gonna move on to game three. So they're gonna do a little bit of sideboarding. Looks like Les is bringing in Crop Rotation, Knight of the Reliquary, and I think that was a Green Sun Zenith. Looks like there's two Green Sun Zeniths because he saw the Graph Digger's Cage. So I don't think he's gonna be boarding in a Green Sun Zenith if he's taking them out. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to see what he did there. Okay, we're starting game three. Last is going to be on the play. It's a Endurance, Maze of Ith, Caracas, Elvish Reclaimer, Swords to Plowshare, and a Pyroblast, and a Crop Rotation. So it looks good at first glance, but no green. And then he only had a Caracas as a source of mana. Not where you want to be. Wiji has an incredibly good, aggressive tempo hand. There's two Delvers, a DRC with a Mishra's Bubble, and a Daze for backup, as well as the Wasteland for some disruption. So this is like... I know you've heard me talk about aggro hands before from like the Delver... the duality of Delver. This is extremely aggressive. He gets to go... turn one... He can either go turn one Delver or turn one Dragon's Rage Channeler. I think if you want to try to flip Delver, at least one of them, you can you play the Dragon's Rage Channeler. You play Delver first, then you play Dragon's Rage Channeler, and then on turn two you play Mishra's Bobble, so you, that you get a Surveil trigger, and then you get the additional Mishra's Bobble to kind of flip. If you don't want to go the Delver route, then you can just play the Dragon's Rage Channeler and Mishra's Bobble turn one, and then go from there and use the Delvers as fodder. He draws a second DRC, so I think you go the DRC plan. Because you can use Delver as Force of Will fodder if it ever comes up, and they're also just the weaker card when you're comparing it to Dragon's Rage Channeler. From Les's side, we got to see that he has Choke. The question is, will he be able to cast it and get it to stick? Not only does he have to fight through counter spells, uh, mana denial through wasteland, he also has to worry about Brazen Borrower again. But it doesn't really. Brazen Borrower becomes less of an issue if you can choke at the right moment. So it looks like there's a Thespian stage. And there's an Elvish Reclaimer. I'm gonna try to resolve it. What G has, I think he still has the days. Looks like it resolves. G top decks underground C. So down comes Wasteland. I think he wasted the. 
the Yavimaya, if you're gonna be using it. Would you cast Delver? I think if you take care of the Yavimaya because it slows down the Thespian Stage Dark Depths combo, and it takes him off of green. I also think you wanted to use it on your turn, because now he can Elvish Reclaimer whatever you try to Wasteland. Unless you're just using the Wasteland as mana. There's a Maze of Ith. Gonna do the trick. Crack Mishra's Bobble. Target myself. We're gonna see if it's on top. Gonna stack it so that Delver goes... F Mishra's on the stack first, and then Delver, so that Delver resolves. He checked to see if there was an instant or sorcery, so he got to arrange the stack how he wanted. So he got to he gets to flip Delver, and then he got to draw an extra card. If it wasn't an instant or land, you get you can stack it so that you draw off the Mishra's Bobble first, and then you can check again with the Delver. Here's the second Dragon's Ridge Channeler that he drew pretty early. Plays Underground Sea, and then we get to Ponder for maximum surveil. He's gonna dump a second a third dra dragon's range channeler so now he has delirium finds another delver off the second surveil and he dumps it so he's gonna shuffle the ponder so yeah this is what i was saying about the aggressive delver hand he has now he now has nine points of damage coming in every turn so the maze of it is gonna help He's going to Maze of Ith, the Delver of Secrets, and then before damage, it looks like he's going to tap the Thespian Stage and Yavamaya for two mana, activate the Elvish Reclaimer, sacrifice the Maze of Ith that was just used. And he, I think he might be afraid of a, a Merc Tide, so he might be going for Bajuka Bog. I don't think there's any other land that you would get other than like Dark Depths. He could go the Dark Depths option, but he's he's looking at a, a Wasteland from Waji on board already. So it's, it is extremely risky to do that strategy. I think Waji has a Submerge that he drew off of the Ponder. So this is Les's perspective. Draws Plateau, has a prismatic ending, and there's a choke. So this is what I meant by the well-timed choke, is Waji has tapped down both of his islands. But he can save one mana if he can't get if he can't prevent the choke. He can bounce the volcanic island here. So now he has a source of blue mana. Gonna double surveil. Going to try to turn on these Dragon's Rage Channelers again. So he dumps both, puts two artifacts into the graveyard. Les pays the one from the days to kind of resolve this choke. It looks like it resolves. So there is now Prismatic Ending in Les's hand. Yep, the Underground Sea stays tapped. There's a fourth Dragon's Rage Channeler. Or his mana in general. But if if we take the last game that they played into account, it does there's like there's very few ways that Les can deal with this kind of board. All of his removal spells or board control cards are one for ones. So he's going to have to deal with each of these creatures one at a time. There's a Prismatic Ending from Les. Targeting the Delver. It resolves. So only two different card types in the graveyard for Waji. It's an Instant and Artifact. Les top decked a Windswept Heath and plays it for the turn. So Waji looks like he's considering using this Submerge just to get triple Surveil triggers here. Okay, so Wes, in response, cracks his Windswept Heath. Is there something in particular that he's looking for? He gets a Plains. Oh, he still has a Sylvan, Sylvan Safekeeper. So Sylvan Safekeeper will sacrifice Bajuka Bok to protect the Elvish Reclaimer. 
Waji resolving his three surveil triggers here, he chooses to put Brainstorm and Ponder into the graveyard and keeps the third card on the top. So now there is instant sorcery artifact in the graveyard and then Waji has a fetch land or a wasteland that he can crack to put a fourth card type into the graveyard and get these Dragon's Rage Chandler's 3-3s three again. So he top decks another wasteland. So he's gonna wasteland Thespian stage. Okay, so in response, Les activates Thespian stage targeting his planes. So it becomes a basic land and that means it's no longer a legal target for wasteland. And it does not destroy the Thespian stage. So Les takes nine, goes to six draws a card. He is in top deck mode. Is there a card that can get him out of this? Even if he... Unless he has a second Maze of it in his deck, I think no matter what, he can't get out of this. Even if it's a removal spell, Waji swings in for six, which kills him. If there's another Maze of Ith, he can use a removal spell, activate Re Elvish Reclaimer. Oh, but it comes in tap, so that's not an option either. Yeah, I think this is this is game over, unfortunately. It just shows how powerful Dragon's Rage Channeler is. Okay, uh, looks like he's gonna pass the turn. Only his Dragon's Rage Channeler is untapped because of the choke. I think he can just attack, right? Okay, so he's gonna waste them as Yavamaya. I'm gonna activate Elvish Reclaimer. Yep, activate Elvish Reclaimer, sacrifice the Yavamaya, the one that Wasteland is targeting. So now both Wastelands are gone. The Submerge has been used. This might be the time, if you have a land in your hand, to find Dark Depths. Oh, but because the Yavamaya is now gone, he can't make Marilage. He doesn't have enough mana. <sighs> I'm so curious as to what the last card in Les's hand was. If it was a land and he chose not to play it, I think that might have cost him this game. Les, if you ever watch this in the comments, if you remember what that last card is, please, we need to know. We need to know. That is round three. G takes it over Les in three games. Stay tuned for round four.